This soundtrack is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna play Dream Daddy, da Dream Daddy, because it's Valentine's Day week. So we're gonna play some Dream Daddy, because I wanna find my Dream Daddy. I haven't played. So why are you saying low game? Ah, new game. They really step up their production value in episode five. <laughs> Drink a full glass of water in the morning to help wake up. I did not know that. Thank you, Dad. Tip number eight. Couldn't think of math for a second. Ooh, some dialogue. So this is by The Game Rumps. If you don't know who they are, they're a YouTube channel. Check them out. They're pretty cool and snazzy. Um, but yeah, this game came out like, what, a year ago now? But it was like, Valentine's Day this week. So let's play some Dream Daddy. Wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead five minutes. Uh, pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Ugh. Come on, Dad, this hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. And I know she'll be the death of me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda. I bequeath. I can't read. To you all my earthly possessions, spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well your course better get moving. Better get into the movie van because it's leaving soon. Yo, this art style! Loving it! Finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of a living room, spooning a mooning box, a yawn and stretch. <sighs> Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh, that's such a cute nickname. Yikes, Dad. Breathe. Breath. Go brush your teeth. I don't know why, but automatically when I think of, like, an American teenage girl, I'm like, Dad, can't you, like, even do anything Build good with your dad. life? <laughs> yes, that... Okay, so Athletic Tank Bond is the one that's currently picked, apparently. So how do I let my guys. <laughs> I don't really care about body types. This is my friend's type, is that. Oh, one just has hair, one doesn't. I was like, what's the difference? And he's wearing short shirt. That's a dad bod. Um, are they the same? I like that. I don't know. Um, sure. Hair. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do hair, because it looks weird without hair. Head type. I have no idea. Or oh, don't like the shadow. I like clean cut faces. What is that? A little, like, if I click on this one, it's like, hello. I don't know what I like. I don't, oh, uh, sure, let's go with that. Don't really care. Oh, that's a, some nice hair. Um... Nah, see, I'm, I'm a simple gal. I like simple stuff. Whereas, like... See, I... Mm, I'm just kind of, like, designing what I would be as a dad. Basically. Me as a dad is what I'm hoping for. That's some... That's a lot of hair. I don't know. What hair would I have as a, if I was a dad? And it goes <laughs> super. Um, oh, I like that. That that's nice hair. I'll go for that. Eyes. Um, I like blue eyes personally. Oh, that's like some. Some pie noticed me. Those are some striking eyes. Oh no, we're doing those. Nose. He looks good. 
Mouth. It's a nice little app. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, there's a bit of like a, um, I'm the bad boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. I don't want to make him too girly. Yeah, yeah. Give him some lip color, nah. Them brows though need to be brown. I kind of like them how they are. I don't like facial hair. Ooh, do you want glasses like me? What colors? They don't have blue frames. You're not good, son. Ooh, those are some nice shades though. I'm going with these frames. Pretty solid. Alright. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I seem to like guys with earrings or with earrings, without earrings. I don't, I don't know. But that looks pretty cool. Let's do some clothing because your boy needs clothing. I could just do your plain white tee, underoos, <laughs> the egg nips tee. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, navy suit. I do like a navy suit. I don't know what I like. Ooh, the kitten suit's kind of cool. I don't know. Kind of liking the egg nip tea, but I'm also... Problem is, is I'm going to make him too girly, so I'm trying to pick something that's like... Not girly, but I don't want like a suit either. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um. Now nah, we're doing... We're do I don't know. We're gonna do this one. Name that dad. Looking good, daddy. Ooh, I get to name my dad. Well, I'm gonna name him Jay. Oh, let's not do the thingy. Jay. I guess the last name. Let's do sarcasm. Be that dad. Be that dad. Hell yeah. Do it once, do it right. Exactly. So I just made ah. my dream dad. Did you fall asleep packing? Yo, that's like a pretty good looking boy in my opinion. Like, it looks pretty good. We'll do a side by side later on, but you know, I'm proud that that would be a boy version of me. But you know, we don't have, I don't have blue eyes. But that's really the only difference between us, which is kind of sad. Anyway. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, you see a bunch of old photos in the little fire album. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I put one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile, and we begin looking through it. Oh, that's a cute baby. Is that you, Amanda Panda? That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Ooh. Anyway, your father and I or mother and I? I'm gonna do father and I. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. That's some pretty cool shades. Halloween, when you were maybe four. <laughs> Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both. Princess dragon. Why do I remember crying in that costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest uh -huh. fear, I think. Right, yep, definitely repressing that memory. Like me in school. That's so cute! And this uh. was you in your horse phase. Dad, it's not a phase. I believe you named that plushie, so mm -hmm. Horsington the Brave. I don't think that I don't think that was his Amanda lunches with the photo, but I quickly snatched it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. <laughs> nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. 
Go ahead, try me. I've seen pictures of you and you're scarbing. Huh. Ouch, kid. That, that was rude. The scam Muskin manifesto was a chance back in the day. I look into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Hey, Aww. it's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise wholeheartedly I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Ever. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Tried to steal people's pets. Fired a flaming chance by the police station. Pooped her pants. Drinks it. Fired. Lighter fluid. Tennis ball. Tennis racket. Right. Dad, that was you. Yo, I'm an awesome dad. Alright. I was a wild child. Mm. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Yeah, I remember you explained that to the police. Oh. They didn't believe me either. Anyway, I'm gonna show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. Aww. The first photography award you ever won. Yo! I can see where you got your photography award from. Obviously from your father. Your other father wasn't much of a photography person. He was very much a, a sporty person. Don't understand how we got along, but you know. He also loved his eggs. Yeah, and I got twenty dollar gift card to McFridays, and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy toaster bit blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Dad, still can't drive to McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. My reach Amanda, Amanda reaches mm -hmm. down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Oh. Neither of us said a word. We stared at the photo for a long moment. So I'm assuming that's my dad. My other daddy. My dream daddy. My partner. Because that looks like the same jacket. With this. Minus the pins. I'm assuming that she's put on corporal stripes. So army jacket, I'm assuming. But I decided to break the silence. Oh. Kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into the car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. Your father? Oh man. He holds my hand and he holds my he holds my, he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Oh. He was right, you know. He he was right. You, he was right, you know. I miss him. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'd been like for Amanda. Yeah. She pats me on the back. Come on, pops. We better get finished packing. The moving van won't wait forever. Hmm. You're right. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought the place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had strong arms, just like your father. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You're a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. Oh. You broke stuff. We got it. And there's plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I wish my daughter would grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get into the car. I get the car 
into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. My old house! So. So. What? So it's me on the cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy nuts voice. <laughs> Nestle in, beautiful. Scenic downtown Maple Bay. Our new house features include... Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch up, wink. What a deal! I mean, if sleeping wasn't for the week, sleeps for the week! Bit of Jacksepticeye reference there. If you don't get it, go watch his videos. Hell yeah. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, pups. I keep it real. Amanda is literally me. I sleep 10 solid, out solid hours a day, and if I don't, I'm cranky. Anyway, it's, all, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier. One might argue. Hey. Good spin. I think it's great. We won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to. Won't it be close? I can't read. So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you're gonna have to learn to par hmm. parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen, pops. Not for as long as I live. I think someone needs to do a three point turn on their attitude. Done. Oh, boom! I don't know how to do that either. Fair point, Amanda. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem mm. pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any ratty teens off our lawn? Mm. You are the very teen you mark when you say that, aren't you? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Girl, same. I'm in my last year of high school too. Yeah, huh. you're real. Don't you dare say it. Hmm, senior. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we need to forge a path with a solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. We still have to install the washer and the dryer, and we need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jazz. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. It's a whole new world. Okay, 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 you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Ooh, I like this house. We pulled up to the new house, stepped outside. The lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign hmm. is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick, Amanda. Swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweetie. Pie. I just got a problem with authority. She's so sassy and cool. I love her. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Hmm. I would have kicked down a sign in my time too. Man, all that karate chopping tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first and eat some coffee. Do you see all those dogs? As much as I would like to enjoy delicious and healthy ice cream, Sander right about now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five silk crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom. And your puppy's gotta pee real bad. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks, stay in your way. Let's get to it. Nice. I like the Shark Tank. You can't beat the whammy bar. Bar. Huh? I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washing drying unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Oh. Hello? 
Oh. So that he got the oh. A handsome clean cut man stands at my door, branching a plate of cookies. He's not my type. His hair is dyed, you can tell because his eyebrows are brown. So I like the blue eyes, but he's too mm. Hello. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, uh, yes. Hi, I'm Jay. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring up some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Oh. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> We both share love. <laughs> oh, yes. kids, am I right? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Huh. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Hey. Well, Lord, thanks for the cookies. What? Oh. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come. And she's gone. That's oh. my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you trying to raise more than two. I have four kids. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, um, I meant. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, that's the first time I've met, and my social life is already in a talisman. Is the one- I wonder if it's too late to move. Uh, okay. yeah. Okay. Is- is the missus around? Mister, actually, and, uh... No, not anymore. He died. Awkward. Oh. Oh. Uh... I'm sorry for your loss. I'm making him sound like a girl now. No, no, it's alright. You didn't know. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We're staying quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry. Can you close the... I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzingly, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door opening. I see Joseph staying there with a huge smile. Hey! Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbor in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. Amanda and I would love to come stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. Yeah. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you around 3 p.m. shop. On Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising kids on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister to charge down the street. No. Well, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. You look pretty young to me, but so you sell. Is that a little bit of a flair, I see, minister? You should be, you know, praising Jesus, hallelujah. You shouldn't be praising me. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back in the living room, crumbles on her face, cooking in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already putting in great. Where this cookies go? I'm so hungry. They're gone. Right. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you get all of them anyway. Hey. <laughs> I guess that means it's break time. Any ideas? Thinking guns. Um, I don't want to go back to Joseph. Um, I don't drink coffee, so let's hit the park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs when we drove past. 
Okay, will you help me steal a dog? For the last time, Amanda. I can't fit a dog in my pockets or my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. But we'll steal a dog later at night when no one's paying attention, don't worry. It will happen. You're breaking my heart, Pops. She's literally me. I want to steal a dog. Or just have a dog. Amanda and I have been strolling through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place mm. is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Hmm. Government operator. Where aren't you, baby? Heh. Yeah. <laughs> we walk for a while, eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes rump through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a n nice empty bench. We make our way over to it when. Hey! Heads up! Oh, jeez, ow. Ow. The frisbee suddenly hits my, me in the face. Woo! Ah. Woo! A corgi with a neat plaited handkerchief tied around its neck bounces up to me and wags its tail. <laughs> Hello. Arr, arr. He runs around in circles and nudges my neck with his nose. Oh, God. This is the cutest dog. It's not bad. Have you seen a Japanese Shepherd? Pet the dog. Pet the dog, impart, impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog, and help. can I help you. But where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. Definitely could have got that. A huge guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes a frisbee from me. Hey. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your face, your hands, not your face. <laughs> it's a new technique. It's like, it's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Ah. What? Ha! <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Jay. And this is my daughter, Amanda. It's Amanda, not Amanda. Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the dog rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Your dog's cool. Oh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Did you forget about her? Brian just is over to a grassy knock, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her hand. Ah. She puts it down and heads over to us. This Oh, wrong voice. Oh, this is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Kramatho. Her teacher tells me that she has a reading copy at the school of a high schooler. Ah. How old is she? Ten! What? She's a precious little youngster. Hey. Whoa! What is happening? My natural dad instincts kicking. I must brag about my child's accomplishment. Oh no, it's, it's happening. Brian. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Manda, get in there. Okay, okay. What is this item? Um... Spelling bee photo. Following through your phone, phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prepared for her annual spelling bee right now. Uh, hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose five. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my household doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 damage. Okay. Brag. Ama Amanda here just received a work. Um, received. recently won a local photography award. Wow. Congratulations. Brian. Yay, Brian. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. I don't like this. What's that? Uh. 
Okay, I can't switch daughters. It means I can switch daughters. Ooh. Uh, item. Grade card. Um, you pull a wrinkly copy of Amanda's last grade out of your pocket. Dad! Awesome grades. Brianna, Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around. You really carry that around everywhere. Ouch, maybe it was kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Daisy, so enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. <laughs> How's that even possible? Barely, Monday couldn't. Could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Ooh, 20. Damn, we're not doing well. Child up. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a Cornopia. Cornopia man did in the first grade. Uh, cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda Jenny appreciates it. You hold on to it. You use 10 points and we regain 20. Yes! Did I mention. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Ooh, even. Bennett. With a flourish, you proceed a produce a bandit from your pocket. Take a knee and start playing it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent! Everyone would agree it's an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Damn it. Daisy here has all her adult teeth. Never had a cavity, either. Amanda subconsciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extremely powerful. You lose 20. Okay. I need to brag. Last week, I'm... Prompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her groceries. It's extra powerful. Bra Brian loses 20. Words are all Daisy's good at, by the way. Her math is amazing. Her math's amazing. One time, I actually called her to double check my numbers before I made a cut for a support beam. You did that more than once, Dad. You did that more than once, Dad. Doesn't that say more about him than Daisy? But still, you lose 10 HP. Dang, he's really got a speed. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Did he just have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Sir, I take you to a new neighborhood. We just moved. Uh, uh you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cold sat down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence, that's where we live too. Small world, yet yeah, Daisy and I Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. I can't bloody read. Ugh. It's really, really frustrating. Yeah. Small world. I'm trying to do like a country accent. Daisy and I are in the little ranch ha ranch styled house in the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaping. Does this guy have to outdo me on absolutely everything? What a lovely place you have, you son of a gun. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. We'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy will further into the park, and Maxwell will happily trotting along. I hate one-uppers. Did you get the feeling he was trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10 years old. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, have you had a thing for horses? Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let's never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an, ep an epic in seven parts by Amanda Sarcasm. We'll laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Let's go to the coffee shop. I don't really drink coffee personally, but maybe my male side would have? This isn't what I imagine like me in the future if I was a male that had blue eyes. Because I would wear earrings if I was a male. I gotta get my hair on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. I'm gonna be, or I'm gonna be useless all day. See me, I just gotta have water. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. It's better to be early than late. That is so true. We walk down the street, the coffee spoon. A cute little pace in the corner. 
Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from my house. Huh? I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch where I could just drink coffee at home? On my own and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. Yo, I agree. I could sit at home, make my own coffee, where I have to spend seven dollars on a cup of coffee, and I can land around my underwear. At least when I'm at home, some random guys are gonna come and sit on the recline next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, mm. but he's very much in my personal zone, which is like zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a jelly mug? Is it the bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and be and your face flashes hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now that you're Aww. the joke that left the mug? Dan, you're just afraid to meet new people. Yes, Amanda! <laughs> we walked inside. Honestly, he is me. I found my cup of Bean juice, looking brewed and nice and hot. The inside of the coffee shop was incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records lined the walls, and patrons lounged around on the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to the little stage. I already know his voice. Welcome to the sh coffee shop, guys. How's it going? My name's Mark Plyer, but it could be. <coughs> Dang. Hey. What's with the name? Oh, it's, um, kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it'd be a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business hmm. is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling. And I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now. I can't stop. Hmm. Oh, so what will it be? Ow! I scan the chalkboard menu and, and immediately I want this fell off. Sorry guys. I'll have I'll have a water. God, God speed you, black coffee. Ooh, this sounds good though. Try art one. Spicy. I got some love hearts. I don't get it. Oh, it's a part. Diet art one is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their um, exotic imagery and hyper stylist music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Oh. I'm doing the thing again, but coming right up. And for you? I'll have a Macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want a small, medium, or big small? Uh, medium? Wait, is biggie small, big, or small? Uh, uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to make our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. Yeah. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you're listening to anyway. Hey. Hey! Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfortable. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but hey, alright. Good lumbar support, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Man, and not just me. Hey. This place is right next to our house, and the guy seems not only cool, but just as uncomfortable talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Or maybe more than friends. Uh, uh, I don't know. Come on! What do we say about meeting new people? can't meet new people if I'm always staying inside and also going outside and also don't go talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets, Matt sets our drinks down on the table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we know the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, this is my dad, Jay. Oh, right. Right on. Pleased to meet you both. You ought to come by my daughter 
when my daughter's hanging out around the shop, you two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll come in from time to time. Man, it keeps me like from under the table. Hey. I'm sure we'll be here a lot. You know what? Let me get you guys opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new Madonna bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think you're gonna have to taste her taste test first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile. You know, I really appreciate the sensations of the flavors. And, and then it knows really She knows the game. Yeah, we need to get. Give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be conversation with a total well. We've changed this for this day. Uh, I was just gonna give you free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the thing. Matt serve us each a piece. Yeah. Mandarin, I happily chow down. This is amazing. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might not be able to give you a dad band pun, but I'll give it a shot. Ooh, banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. That's got a nice ring. Right said, like right said Fred, but now it's like banana bread. I think the youngsters will like it. What? Despite not getting it, because it like, rhymes and all that. That actually has a nice ring to it. Real? Oh. Really? Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decision. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave hey. saying baby to the professionals. Uh -huh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, hey. baby. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself brewing over a cup co of coffee. Guys, me, just for a moment. Hazy look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Hey. We finish our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I need a nap, bro. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the foot rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard the train to sleep at town junction. Dad tip nine. Don't use metal utensils on non-stick frying pans. Wait, why? I need the dad tip, why? As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Moving in closer. Jack! Hey. Bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Oh. Craig? <laughs> okay, so the only thing I knew about this game, other than it's called Dream Daddy, and you're a dad dating a dad, is that one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Nate wants a battle voice as a character. And I knew it was Craig, and I was waiting for Craig to come, and here he is, and like... Yes! Yes! River is me in all social situations, which is the baby. But like... Can we just take time to appreciate this beautiful human in front of us for a moment? Because he's a work of art. Like... He good looking. And he's wearing track pants. I'm a track pant girl. I love my track pants. This is all seller? I don't know if I said that. Bro! Oh. Bro! Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Hey, yeah. I cleaned up my act. He cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We used to go to college together. We were roommates for a while too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Ah, oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. Wow. 
Why, why do I keep changing voices? This is River. Sarah River. He thinks of his team race and waves around. River gurgles how <laughs> Are you Oh, are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out and I was working. Mm, I can't think of his voice. Think of Nate once about it. Any day, I think I'm gonna break now. I was working out at California and relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved into the side town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, uh, Ashley. Ashley's her name. She actually goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. He's wise. Uh, sorry. Uh, dude, I'm sorry. It's old news. But taking turns taking care of the river and the twins. It's all pathetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro. Right. Keg Stan Craig is a father of three? Keg Stan Craig? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. You know, I didn't know what a keg stand was until I watched Jacksepticeye's video of this, and this was like a year ago. And then someone else, uh, Good Mythical Morning, did Craig Stand, Keg Stand Ranch, and apparently you just like are upside down and have to like drink a lot of alcohol or in this case ranch and I was like who comes up with this stupid stuff it's that thing we do a handstand on a keg then drink from the keg see like I don't know what it meant right hmm. he was very good at it my voice just broke there I just went through puberty sorry ah bro hate to be that guy but I'm in the middle of a daily jog Ooh, exercise and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, the resistance training. Do that little bubble! Do you jog daily? I jog never. On January 1st is when I promised I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's too in it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We can do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. My eyes match my shirt. I just realized that. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Greg gives a little away. Craig gives a little away. Puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. Hottest character so far. Him? He's the hottest character and Matt. So far. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Need CPR. Someone give me that CPR. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opens a new jar of marinara sauce, then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he just said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, it's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Jogging. Running. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Dad tip. Aww. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're not going to put my stuff back in these boxes in a few months. No! Don't say that at all. Aw, oh, Dad. It's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know. I know. But I'm not going to be okay. I don't care about you. I'm worried about me. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit. I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. Girl! This girl is literally me. Mine is different hair color. Ah, you promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay while you loan some stuff? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? 
Forget art school, I'm staying here for the dog. Yeah. Is that what it's gonna take? Me and size dog hanging shift around the neck. I get to name her. That's what it cost me if you give up my dreams. I'm all with simple wants and needs. Girl, same. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Mona darts over the envelopes, shuffles through them. Right. She pulls out and throws the rest on the floor. This is from Mick Glowing College of Arts and Design. Mm. Open it. But I'm scared. <sighs> it's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have mm. a letter open, but okay. I hold my breath on Mana's art, stares backwards and forwards, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the administration committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we. Uh. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you administration uh. to McGutland College of Arts and Design. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Um. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of started calling me. I knew I should not put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admission officer told me to just want to see my portfolios or whatever, my portraits. Amanda, I pull a man in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you work, put you work into huh? your portfolio. Some other school's going to want to snatch it off for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Mm. Are you actually fine? Are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I promise I shouldn't push her in it. Um, before I forget, Emma and I and Eric are sleeping over tonight. So, Dad, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I have you know them. Conveniently, I already have plans for tonight, so you, you have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Uh. I'm going clubbing, going to attend the union meeting. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayor duties. I must dance my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. Oh. He was a mayor, right? He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Nice. Go out and watch the game. Uh, which game? You know, Ugh. the game, the one that's on tonight. The game on TV. That's somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arsoning with the Emmas. I'm concerned you hang out with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I wouldn't would have expected you guys to be on the white collar crime at this point. Maybe. Money laundering, at least. I'm street rat, pops. I do what I want, when I want. Mm. Mm. You're all kidding about the drugs and the crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just, just, just making sure. I don't know what teenagers anymore. I gave her a pat on the head. Mm -mm. Have fun with your sports. Oh. Are you being sarcastic? No. Oh. Making fun of sports is played out. Oh, She should have been sarcastic like her name. Boom! Alright, alright then. I just don't like cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends. Amanda's friends, right. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. The only accept time and place for decaf lobby is never. Well, I guess I really didn't think that plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is. And Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go. This way. Cool, okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really? The distance. Could it be? What is it? It's a bar. A big burnout neon sign hanging above this tiny dive bar. Jim and Kins, huh? Alright, we'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit, like my life. The crack of the pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell who's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. Wallaby. be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. 
I quickly turned my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team only preference is not only playing, but it's currently lead, which is always a good thing. The rally coloured mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favourite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontation arguments with a fan of the opposite team. Several people in the bar are wearing the distinctive colours of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demur that, like me, their passion for the team is all in good fun. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine of glass, wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, mm. hello. Good to see some fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, no, actually, I just moved this part of town. I'm Jay, by the way, and you are... Are you watching the game? Yeah. My preferred team is the lead. If they keep hey. this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, I love that team, and I also love the game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I'm getting the impression she's a little drunk. Ah. Uh, buy a gala drink? No, don't buy a drink. If she's drunk, then no. Be responsible. Uh, maybe some other time oh. when you're not drunk off your head. Or, you know, look like you haven't slept in forever. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to end up. I'm happily watching the game over another beer. This game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close from what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player shoots a number of points for the opposite team, putting them in the lead, I heard an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. It's a brilliant man from the coffee shop. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, you must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based on point win and loss records, I think that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends and then we are both going back to silently root for our respective teams. The game is closed. We both sides playing the hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking the whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Oh. Thanks, I'm Jay. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you peach the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim's and Kim's. Is there an actual Jim hey. or Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Hey. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in the world. Okay. Hmm? You're a whiskey fella or a beer fella? <sighs> beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? Um. I don't drink alcohol personally, so I'm just gonna say. Ooh, shots fight. Oh, he didn't like that. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. Oh. He hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shot. The whiskey goes down, oh. but I'm trying my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what's making friends is. Okay, Jay. This guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Oh, yeah, he has a hand tattoo. Ooh, leather jacket. It is a nice leather jacket. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Curse, some would say. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. It's not hard to be, honestly. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Um, my daughter kicked me at the house. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Hmm. Seeing your dad. Hmm. Oh. He gets up. Be right back. Got a powder my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha! Huh, I guess so. You admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom, grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You headed my way. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in the cul-de-sac down the way. Does Everybody live there? 
Me oh. too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I didn't kiss and tell, Jay. So are we doing this or what? I... What? You know. Do you want to come in, sad or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I bless. Uh, I better call it a night. Catch you around? Sure. He tried to get in with me, and I was like, nope, nope, nope. I don't like no bad boy for the moment. I head home, head buzzing with whiskey. What did he mean by, are we gonna do this or not? I plop down the couch, and I'm asleep before I even get the chance to take my shoes off. The quick, uh, I wake up from a text from an unknown number. But with that, I'm gonna end today's episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me who's your favorite daddy so far. Um, like I said, my favorite so far is Craig and Matt. They're like my top two. Other than, of course, you know, Jay, which is I guess the best looking dad so far. Because, you know, I would say that'd be me as a male version. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. I'm weird. Um, so yeah. Welcome to Dream Daddy. It's weird, it's cool, it's fun, and I love it. Let's keep playing this game because it's super duper cool. Anyway, dry out, see you guys in the next video. Sorry, cast him out. And I spring it in for a base cast a hug. Bye bye. See ya. This is so weird, this experience.